Hello, in this free JS video, we are going to look at how to keep track of the performance of our application, aka we're going to track the frame rate. It couldn't be simpler. To do this, if you just go to Mr. Doob's GitHub page, Mr. Doob is the person who created free JS. If you don't already know, there's a few ways you can get to. You can even GitHub, go to GitHub and search for Mr. Doob. You could Google GitHub Mr. Doob, or if you go to the free.js website, add it there. Just stop in freejs.org, go to GitHub, it'll take you to the FreeJS GitHub page. We're only interested in Mr. Doob's GitHub page at the moment. And what we want from here is the stats.js. So if we just click on that, scroll down, this is what it provides us. So frame rate, milliseconds, and the RAM usage, which is fantastic. There's a couple of different ways you can implement it. You can even include, like, download the JavaScript file and include it. Or, or a, an easy way to do it is using the bookmarklet. And all you do is copy this. Go to your project. And just at the start of the script tag, paste this. What you want to do is actually get rid of JavaScript colon because we obviously know that it's a JavaScript method so we can just get rid of that save it and now we're ready, actually ready to refresh there we go we have a frame rate counter which is displaying fifth I mean 60 frames per second it's got a nice little graph if we click on it, it changes to milliseconds so the time between frames if we click on it again it shows us RAM usage and it shows us a range as well for all the three different properties so it's that simple to get stats for your game to see how well it is performing nothing more to this video than that if you have any questions as usual feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php or feel free to contact us in any other way there will be a link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day coding.